You are still watching ways. Now, the 4th of July, also known as Independence Day or July 4th, has been a federal holiday in the United States since 1941. But the tradition of Independence Day celebrations goes back to the 18th century and the American Revolution. On July 2nd, 1776, the Continental Congress voted in favor of independence. And two days later, delegates from the 13 colonies adopted the Declaration of Independence, a historic document drafted by Thomas Jefferson. From 1776 to the present day, July 4th has been celebrated as the birth of Americans' independence, with festivities ranging from fireworks, parades, and concerts to more casual family gatherings and barbecue. So we say happy 4th of July or happy Independence, America. Happy fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Corona Before made be with us. Yeah, Corona made this year, you know, a bit um, low key, laid back, uh, very laid back. Yeah. You know, because especially you know since Donald Trump started going back on the streets to say he wants to do campaign, the mm -hmm. numbers have been crazy. I was watching. I had not watched CNN for a very long time. Today I said, okay, let me watch because mm -hmm. I can't help myself. I have to watch news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they said. In three days now, consecutively, they've been mm -hmm. testing over 50,000 people testing positive. 50,000? You know, 50,000 50, people testing positive to COVID-19. Yeah. So it's actually very, very high. You know, I also saw some people saying that they were not going to celebrate 4th of July until the government recognized the June, Juneteenth. How did they pronounce that word? Juneteenth. Yeah. yeah, June the 19th. Yeah, that's um, Kimarelli Simmons was also part of the people that tweeted that they must mm. recognize that as a you know, national holiday, if not, they, she's not interested in 4th of July. That's like World Black wow. Day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right, so ladies, who's going first? Um, Sansi, let me come with to you. What did okay. you find for us? So um, this is a story that has been around uh, for a while. People on social media, Instagram and all that, we, 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 heard, we hear the breaking news first. Mm. So Ikorodu Boys, they are quite popular for creating the cover of so many movie trailers and they're doing amazingly well. So um, obviously we know that the um, Russell brothers who are like the producers of like the all-time amazing Marvel movies, mm. Infinity Game, Aven uh, End Game and all those Marvin uh, clips. So they have mm. another movie, Extraction, Extraction. 2, mm. uh, starring Chris Hemsworth, that's Thor, and a couple others. So Ikorodu Boys now went ahead to create it <laughs> as usual and now this time within six hours of course when they made it they were praying and telling their fans to retweet and tag netflix and the russell brothers and within six hours they retweeted them so imagine the joy in your heart Aww. and the beautiful thing is right now their they um russell brothers has invited the Kurdu boys to the worldwide premiere in hollywood wow. so once the COVID yeah they're, over. they're going to hollywood awesome. look at that awesome i'm so happy that is amazing their consistency is just yeah is I, I loved i mean when i watched because if you've seen that movie extraction oh beautiful yeah. movie so and, and when i watched they, their own replication i said it, they it did was, it so it well they did it so well and it was just hilarious but you look at what they had to go through like yeah, remember the using wheelbarrows where, yeah where they had to jump through and the forest and you know and it's just they did, so, they did it so, so resourceful well. yeah Congratu this is what we say that get creative mm -hmm. and don't let your immediate um, environment, environment limit you yeah, limit dream you. beyond absolutely your immediate environment why so easy okay, over to you okay you're over to me so um has is on the positive side um, mine is a bit on the negative side. Um, police discovers notorious baby factory in uh, Port Harcourt. This uh. story is so dear to my heart because I don't understand why people will sell babies and for as much as um, 3.5 million. And um, human trafficking is, I've come to understand that human trafficking is not all about you going to Lebanon or mm -hmm. trafficking girls. Exactly. Within, the country, yeah. Within the country, in Nigeria, we're actually trafficking humans. And in this form, we are trafficking babies. Mm. So women who are in dire need of children, they go out there to try and buy these children from these um, workers. It is so painful that these teenagers are being um, deceived by the a lady, a man and a woman called Chidi. Are they the ones Maureen. that post that as, as pastors? Yes, they own oh, a yeah. church. Hmm. So it is so sad that uh, this happened at Rumo, whatever, Rumo, yeah, Lili, and <laughs> PH, you know, PH always has this Rumo, Rumo, La, Rumo, Rumo, Rumo this, this, Rumo, that. So they're selling day, a, a day-old babies currently. 
and looking for buyers, what they actually do is that they get individuals to source for a child or a girl who is a, a teenage who is who's pregnant, pregnant and, doesn't, and doesn't have anybody to no doesn't have anybody to turn to, and they take this person in and say, okay, well, once you're church. done, mm. once you're done, you go back home with your child. But guess what? They sell this child and tell the young girl that the child is dead. Wow. Oh, that's painful. You know, the, the part that I, I saw was them disguising like pastors, you know. Well, I'm happy that they've been apprehended, right? Absolutely. So I'm happy. All right, so my story is actually quite, uh, is I'm still going to go back to the floods because the truth is the rains, we, we don't have any choice. This is our own it's hurricane. Season. This mm. is our own tsunami. Everything is raining season. <laughs> yeah, so um, mm. I, I saw the pictures of um, uh, flood ravaging a community in uh, uh, Biokuta. I mean, if you see those pictures, it was from the punch. Wow. I mean, this was really, really scary when I saw it. And just imagine. Oh, my God. So goodness. driving down to work today, the whole of ent the entire legalia you're in there, you know, after flooded yesterday, as well. they had cleared all the drainages, mm -hmm. right? So you could see all the, the debris yeah, from working, the yes. drainages on the side of the road. Because they didn't take them out, out. today, everything would when, go back they, when it back rained, inside. everything went back inside. So the entire legally around day right now, the Victoria Island, Lekki area, flooded. everywhere is flooded. So I'm now saying to the governor again, our appeal, this is the season. We cannot wait for the thing to, because the rains will continue because the rains, the, the rains is here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to continue for a very long, this is the season. So it's going to continue for a very long time. So can we be a lot more proactive than what we're seeing? Mm -hmm. You know, because if they had, when they, when I saw them clearing the drainages, I said, wow, mm -hmm. fantastic. Why did they not just take them off the road? Mm -hmm. They left it there. So now this rain that has come down has completely flooded the entire area because everything that they cleared out of the drainage has gone back, has in. Gone back mm -hmm. right into the drainage. So this picture in Abiyakuta was really scary for me. And you know, mm -hmm. when you look at these um, structures, most of them mm -hmm. don't have proper planning. Exactly. You know, everybody just comes and builds. Everybody just comes and builds. And it's clustered completely gone and you'll be shocked that people are still living in that house despite the floods you know mm. and well, I, I was, even uh, I was back listening to the radio well. sometime this week mm. and, and i was um hearing that they were warning some some people living in certain communities mm. to evacuate those communities i can't remember what states now okay. because the flood is coming and there's mm. nothing they can, they do, can about do about it. it so you i mean this is really scary so we can't if wait we for it plan, to get to this. If we would have like a proper plan, a proper then plan. it's easy to avoid um, all these things. And this should have been done before the rainy season starts. Well, now that we didn't do it before the rainy season, we've always not what done can it we before. do now? We've always not done you know, it before. And what we've, can we've, we do now? We've harped on it that this should be done before eh, the so rainy season since begins. They have not, me, I don't like to dwell on the problem. Since they haven't mm. done it before the rainy season, mm. it's raining already. What can be done now? And let us start to do it. That's what is important. Because some some traffic they are unnecessary. Like right? my car almost stopped. I got I got. I was waiting I got, for you to tell yeah, me that story. I got stuck <laughs> in the middle of a floor around um, Silver Bed area. Yeah, Sanzi that road. I can't remember what they call today. it. And I I literally started praying. I'm like, no, please, no. Like, I can't put my leg inside this water, and I need to get to work. So I don't mm. know how it's going to happen, but Jesus, please make a way. <laughs> And he did make a way. He did. Yeah. But we cannot be praying to Jesus all the time. We need to get our people to do the work. I mean, right. that's, that's it's as simple as that. Aside from the fact that we have lots of flaws, we should also, we should also take this into consideration that there are a lot of uh, potholes on the road. Yeah. So you don't even know where to, you know, exactly. where to maneuver. Your, maneuver your yeah, car towards or something. You know? Oh, dear. Oh, God. It's sad. So, well. All right. So, <laughs> we, today cannot be all boom and gloom. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep talking about the floods. But Cheta Wanze will join us right after the break to discuss Nigeria and her independence. Please stay with us. <laughs> 